Hello, can you visualize how big a Googleplex is? In this video, let us try to explore and visualize the magnitude of Googleplex. But before that, first let us have a look at Google. The value of Google is equal to 10 raised to the power of 100. But this is its scientific notation. If you want to represent the number in actual standard form, we need to write all its digits. So let us represent Google in its standard form which is 1 followed by 100 zeros. So here is our 1 and we need to write 100 zeros now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So this is Google in its standard form, which is one followed by all these 100 zeros. Now, what about Googleplex? A Googleplex is equal to 10 raised to the power of Google is equal to 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 100. Notice that the exponent is in scientific notation. If we represent the exponent in standard form, we get the Googleplex value as 10 raised to the power of this number which is Google. So that's Googleplex in scientific notation which is 10 raised to the power 1 followed by all those 100 zeros. What if you wanted to represent Googleplex in its standard form? Sure, it is really a big number. So here is my idea of visualizing the magnitude of Googleplex in its standard form. I think you can see the board clearly. It is filled up with 201 digits which is 1 followed by 200 zeros. You can count the digits if you want to. <laughs> Pause the video and count the digits. So its magnitude is 10 raised to the power 200. Now this board is about 60 centimeters in length, 30 centimeters wide and about 2 centimeters in thickness or height. Let's call it height. So a board which is 2 centimeters in height can hold up to 10 to the power 200. Now let us make a comparison between height of the board and magnitude of a number. If a single board which is 2 cm in height can hold up to 10 to the power 200, how many more number of boards do we require to reach a Googleplex? Also, what if we stack all those boards on top of each other and check what height would they reach to make a Googleplex? Here is an important point to consider. Our first board contains 201 digits which are 1 followed by 200 zeros and its magnitude is 10 to the power 200 while our second board contains 200 digits which are all zeros and when you place the first board on top of the second board the magnitude of the continuous number of both the boards will be 10 to the power 400. You can have a look at this tabular form for various number of boards and height and magnitude of the number. Now let us do this for a few more iterations and have a look at height versus magnitude results. My height is about 1.7 meters. So if the stack of boards reach till my height, the magnitude of the number would be 10 raised to the power 17,000. Yes, that is a big number, but it is not even close to a Googleplex. So let us go to some higher places. Now I am on top of a building. This building is around 25 meters in height. If we stack all those boards from top of this building, to that bottom ground, the magnitude of the number would be 10 raised to the power 250,000. Clearly buildings are not serving our purpose. So let us go to much higher places, maybe mm, hills. This hill is certainly higher than the previous building which we saw. We are now on the top of the hill. So this hill is about 70 meters in height 
Even if you stack all those boats till this side, you would reach only to a magnitude of 10 to the power 700,000, which is very less when compared to Googleplex. Let's see what happens to the magnitude of the number if we are on the highest peak on Earth, Mount Everest. So, as you might be knowing already, the height of Mount Everest is about 8.8 .8 kilometers. So, if we place all those boats on top of each other till this height, that is 8.8 .8 kilometers, we would reach to a magnitude of 10 to the power 88 million. Clearly mountains aren't helping us either. I mean, come on, we literally compared its height with Mount Everest, the highest peak on earth. Still, the magnitude of the number isn't close enough to a Googleplex. Maybe let's move on to space. Let's say hypothetically we could place all those boats on top of each other till the height of International Space Station which is orbiting our earth above 400 kilometers. Even at that height, According to our theory, the magnitude of number would be 10 to the power 4 billion. Sounds like a lot, but it is not on par with Google Plex. Now coming to the initial question of our experiment, how many boats do we require and what height would that stack of boats reach to hold a Google Plex? And we need these many number of boats. and we need to go as high as these many kilometers. Finally, I think now you understand how big Googleplex really is. It is a humongous number. But what's mind blowing is the fact that there are still infinitely many numbers which are larger than Googleplex and infinitely many numbers which are smaller than Googleplex. Math is a crazy world. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.